Hey guys, welcome back to um, Stock Over Trading. Today, today is June twenty third, two thousand twenty. Uh, we are only going. To, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to talk about S and P updates and a trade that we need to get in tomorrow before it heads to another breakout. Uh, I'm going to show why, and I'm going to show my positions in Oracle. Let's get started. So S&P right now, I am short-term bearish uh, just a little because we attempted this. Let me just show you guys. We double up basically around the 31.46 mark. So here we attempted to break and then we failed. And now we have this uh, LOD downtrend. So what's going to happen tomorrow is that we may test. No, we may. We're probably going to test the 3100 level and then if we break that we're going back to 30 80 uh, I'm going to buy a lot more dips around 30 60 because we have a if you look at uh, last month that we have a gap somewhere around the 30 65 area 30 30 68 I think there'll be a gap that needs to be filled but if we rebound it above the 3100 level, uh, it is a bullish signal. So right now on the IOD we have this, you know, you see that's a downtrending. So we are going to find some support around the 3100 and then 3080. So with that being said, I am holding a, a nice amount of um, Oracle. I'm holding so on my tasty works I have Oracle on here I have Oracle. I'm basically loaded with Oracle contracts. Uh, I highly recommend August and September. Uh, you might ask me why uh, later on the if you guys know flow algo chatter flows they are some very unusual activity for Oracle September and August calls um, they load the boat today I'm going to hold them for at least a week to see where they go and then I look at the Oracle charts let's go to Oracle daily we are going to see a very interesting setup here so this was today, right? Today we went to as high as 55.95. So if I draw one right here, I'm going to see uh, back in around this level. So what do we need to know is that if we break this 56 level, which is look, if you look at right here, the previous basically rejection came on top of here. And if we break that, we're going to go to 60, at least 60. So somebody, somebody knows what's going to happen in the future, basically. So they are loading up the calls. And then I do believe we are going to break this 56 level, uh, give another one or two days, and this should continue to go up. This is this is a, uh, a perfect example of breaking to the upside. Even though it kind of rejected today because the market sold off uh, around the end of the day. And this is a nice one to get in. Because if you look at previous, just previous days, uh, we were at this level so many times. And right now we are not really below it on the previous breakout candle. And then we need a pullback since it's kind of overbought on the RSI. So we need to form another higher low somewhere tomorrow and then shoot for a higher higher up next uh, next two days, two to three days. So I got those August and September calls and then some end of July calls just for just for the hype. So I think Oracle it is nice to getting on the dips tomorrow. 
no joke, this is a very nice setup. Like this is prime for breakout. Especially when I'm targeting, uh, we are going to go back to 3200 Oracle with Oracle. It is a nice positivity to have that with the whole market. Tomorrow, buy the dips on Oracle, September, October, I mean August, September calls, they will be nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video.